Hmm. Mr. Green, Vinny here. That pumpkin made a scary face at me. Oh, you must be mistaken. None of these pumpkins have been carved yet. Mr. I'm telling you. There's something wrong with your pumpkins, I say. Something very, very wrong. <laughs> Now, son, if these pumpkins are wrong, I don't want to be right. Tilly and I picked them ourselves. Tell them, Tilly. What? Oh, uh, yep. Nothing to be scared of. Help me! Oh, my gosh! This pumpkin's got crazy! Ha, <laughs> ha, uh, he's crazy. I'm not crazy! Okay, be right back. Nobody ever listens to Benny. Help! It's tearing me apart! I'm coming, brother! <laughs> <laughs> you got trick <laughs> Huh? Well, I came up with the prank, so actually, you got vexed and t rex Dang, that is a better catchphrase. Oh, you got me. Whew, I guess I'm just feeling a bit jumpy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not falling for another one of your pranks. <sighs> <laughs> Pumpkin, you die! Uh, cricket, it's dead. What was that thing? This is just a guess, but it might have something to do with... <laughs> we can't hear you. There's hair in your mouth. I stole a modified alien substance from Big Tech and secretly used it to mutate Papa's pumpkins. He was just so sad. I wanted to make him happy. You can't fault me for that. Yes, 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 yes we, we can! can. <sighs> if this one attacks, I have a feeling the others will too. We could all be in danger. We've got to take care of this without Papa knowing so he'll stay happy. Will you help me? Oh, you want us to just help you covertly find and destroy a whole horde of alien pumpkin monsters all under the nose of our dear father? Yes. Okay. Rawr. All right, let's see, Mr. Reminald R. Remington. I see you have a middle initial. Very impressive. Thank you, Crap. I mean, Mr. Green Jr. Excuse me, you've got a line. Please, ma'am, can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <sighs> Forgive me. R Remold, was it? It's whatever you want it to be. Well, Remily, what would you say is your greatest weakness? Oh, geez, well, probably rambling on too much about my weaknesses or my indecisiveness. Ah, you're doing the thing, Remy! I like what I'm hearing. Welcome aboard. Nailed it. <laughs> Hiya! Can I get a large mocha latte, please? One large mocha latte coming up. Ah, now this is the boss laugh. Excuse me, boss? Quick cue, what's a mocha latte and how do I make one? What? You don't know? What'd I hire you for? I don't know. I thought you trained me or something. Uh, come on. Here. Whoa! Man, this isn't saving me work at all. I didn't think I'd have to train anyone. Wait, I got it. Congratulations, Benny. You are now head of employee training. Wimmy won't stock the pastries. Benny won't tell me where they go. Guys, guys, remember, I'm the boss. This isn't supposed to be my problem. That's why I hired Kiki. Hmm? What's up? You're supposed to keep these two on task. Uh-huh, yeah, good work, you two. <laughs> Gabriella, you're supposed to keep Kiki from slacking. Oh, word? I thought I was just here to play pranks. <laughs> uh, this is a disaster. Wheezy, you'll fix this. Want a job, buddy? Ha-ha, <laughs> so nice got hired twice. What? You already hired me, bruh. Ah, nothing's working! Perhaps the problem is my employees don't see me as a boss, so I gotta look the part. You! Give me your suit! Why? Cuz I'm the boss! Well, okay! Okay, listen up. The reason I've called this team meeting is somehow I, the boss, keep having to do all the work around here. Luckily, I've come up with a system that will solve everything! Right now, all the problems are funneling to me. It don't work. It's useless. It's chaos. But now, it's perfect. It's a circle? Exactly. You see, when one of you has a problem, you find where you are in the circle, follow the arrow, and pass it along. But won't it just loop back to the circle, Remy? Trust the circle. And the circle will trust you. Hello. Can I get a coffee now? Hmm. Hey, Gabriella, we need a coffee. Sure thing, Benny. Hey, Wheezy, we need a coffee. When it's a table, it turns. We need a coffee. Remy, 
uh, need coffee or whatever. Hey, I'll I'll you. You. <laughs> it's working beautifully. Um, uh... And finally, meet your new little buddy, Chase! <laughs> 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 Chase, I'm your big buddy cricket. Oh. Ah, get off of me! Sue, I think my buddy's defective. You gotta give me another kid. Uh, nope, Chase is yours till 3 p.m. But okay, everybody, we got crafts time in the Boomba Room. Move it! <laughs> Do it for Mamaroni. Chase, who wants to go draw a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> mm. What's wrong, Emma? I want to put googly eyes on my painting, but we ran out of glue. Uh, not to worry, little lady. For the paint, provide. Observe. Whoa, they stuck to the wet paint. Cool. Tilly, you are amazing. <laughs> oh, Emma, you are correct. Looks like you two are getting along well. Cricket, how you doing? Oh. Chase, you stop making paper spitballs <laughs> right now. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, my glasses. Dang it all, I'm your big buddy, and that means you got to do what I say. So you and I are going to go back to that table, sit quietly, and think about the pizza and possibly chicken wings that await us if we get along. What do you say to that? He <laughs> <laughs> glitter bombed me. I hear you. <laughs> You want to tussle? Let's tussle! <sighs> Tilly. Hi, Cricket. How's it going with your little buddy? He refused to sit in time out, so I had to fasten him to a cabinet with a bunch of pipe cleaners. I'm completely outmatched. How do you train your kid to be so good? Oh, she has to do this. <laughs> Cricket, the only advice I can give is something you know better than anyone. Sometimes the only way to sue the wild beast is by taming its heart. I've got to write that one down. Taming his heart? What's that even mean? Ah, tell you and your riddle. Ah! Good luck on your journey, brother. Squishy! Squishy! Free Splishy Day, here we come! What in the Sam heck is a Splishy? Oh, Grandma, it's only the world's most perfect combination of ice, sugar, and chemicals. Those are the magical makings of the Splishy. Nut, there's the sip and snack. Hurry up and park. Shucks, the lot's full. I suppose we could just meet you kids inside and... They're gone. Huh? Bye, Bye Dad. Dad. <sighs> We're gonna find some parking and be right back. If we don't return, Avengers! Wow. Look at all these new flavors. Nitro berry, mental melon, purple. Oh, Mama, here we come. <laughs> Hold it! Can't you read? Yes, but I choose not to. No shoes, no shirt, no service. No shoes means no splishies. Oh, chum, I am Cricket Green. I never wear shoes. Kid, I don't make up the rules. I just follow them. Clean the bathroom three times a day, mop the floors every hour. But if you mop the floor so often, what's it matter what I wear on my feet? Uh, because that's the rule, and no one is above the rules. <laughs> Listen, uh, Clark? Not wearing shoes is sort of my deal, and I love splishies. <laughs> Perhaps we can strike a bargain? Oh, there's one thing I'd like. For you to leave! All right, come on, Tilly. Let's get out of here. Uh, sorry, brother, but I have shoes on and a me-sized mug to fill. Fine! Who wants a free, delicious, sugary, rainbow-colored splishy anyway? I've circled this block five times. There isn't an open spot anywhere. What about that lot? Five dollars for parking? That's highway robbery. No way we're parking there. Good for you, son. You know how much I admire cheapness in a man. It's not the money, it's the principle. Why should I pay that swindler when there's a free spot out there just waiting to be found? We just gotta keep looking. <laughs> It's so unfair that you didn't get a free splishy, brother. Guess you'll have to share some of mine. Sister! Nope! Stop right there! Aw, oh, man, what do you want? Everyone knows that sharing splishies is strictly forbidden by the sip and snack rules and would result in forfeit of said free beverage. What? It's just sharing. Why is that against the rules? It's basic hygiene, man. Not that I expect you to understand. You know, the easiest way to end all this would be to just put on some shoes. Yeah, sure, it'd be easy to bend a Clark's will. Or it would be even easier if I found a loophole. Oh, Clark, 
Look, no feet on your precious clean floor. No, no! Now your disgusting feet are at face level. That's even worse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goo -goo -wah. I'm just a baby who doesn't need shoes. Oof. This is pathetic. And for the record, you make an ugly baby. Tell back to my mom! All right, Clark, you got me. Boom. Shoes. Ugh, finally. Now, was that so hard? No. No, it was not. Hmm? Wait a minute. Hey! The cum titty. Hold it! Those are not shoes. You just painted sneakers on your feet. There's something covering my feet, isn't there? That's basically what shoes do. Huh? Look, kid, this isn't up to me. Check it. These are the official sip and snack rules. Everyone else has to follow them. Why can't you? Because these rules are stupid! I mean, look at some of these. No cartwheels, no skipping, no gum chewing, no excessive mm -hmm. talking, yep. no coin flipping, uh -huh. no hand holding, yep. no mm -hmm. mouth breathing. Yep. What is wrong with you? If you want a free splishy, you know what you need to do. Aww. Rule number 48, no mm -hmm. sulking. Excuse me, do you two have a minute to help save the environment? Do you have a minute to help us save the environment? You don't have to make fun of me. You could just ignore me like everyone else does. Wait, what station are you two looking for? The chartreuse line. We're trying to recycle this light bulb. So the legends are true after all. I never thought there would be someone so brave and valiant to attempt such a journey. We're just doing our part. Have you been there before? No. I've always dreamed of it, but I never have a Saturday that works for me. Come, I can show you the way. Why is there a torch? We have arrived. <gasps> this is the ancient subway used to travel between worlds. Oh, that's what Chartreuse looks like. Once the train comes, take it to the end of the tracks and cross the Bridge of Sorrows. You'll make the rest of the journey on foot. I must warn you. The road ahead gets much worse. Why? Why is it designed like that? I leave you with this wisdom. Over 10,000 pandas a day will benefit if you donate merely $20. Oh, to no, sorry, I already donated. Then my work here is done. Good luck, brave heroes. No. <laughs> What is this place, Till? Looks like we're in the industrial part of town. And this must be the Bridge of Sorrows. The GPS says the E-Way Center is just across this bridge. Let's uh, hurry! Tilly, wait! I think this bridge might be unstable. What's that, Papa? Ah! Tilly! Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Uh, Papa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't worry, Papa! I got you! Tilly, the bulb! It's gonna pull out the river! That was close. Papa, that was amazing. Where'd you learn to do that? Hacky Sack National Championship 1998. Okay, Till, let's take this one little baby step at a time. The E-Way Center closes in 15 minutes. Now's no time for a nap, Papa. We gotta hurry. Oh. <laughs> there it is! We're here. Just gotta find a way in. Wait, why are there just mounds and mounds of garbage? Where's the recycling center? No, 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 no! What? We're on the wrong side of the dump. The e-waste center is on the other side. But they closed at three. That's in ten minutes! <laughs> Papa, step out of it! We have got time! Well, well, well. What do we have here? You two made a mistake coming to this part of town. Now, hand over everything you got. You want what I got? You want what I got? Here's what I got! Take it! What the? No, 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 no way, man! That's a compact fluorescent light bulb! I'd never be able to recycle it! This guy's crazy! We gotta get out of here! Yeah, bro. No. Well done, Papa. Maybe if we hurry, we can still... Uh, Papa? It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. The dump is right here, Tilly. It'd be the easiest thing in the world to just throw it away. No! Let go, Tilly! Papa, we're better than that! We have to find a way to do the right thing! What does that even mean? What's one bulb gonna do against all the world's pollution? It ain't just about the bulb, it's about us! 
us. We can't quit when something gets hard, because if everyone did that, the world would be a crummy place. There is so much good we can do, but it starts with us right now. <sighs> Dang it, Till. You're right. I'm sorry. Keep it together. Let's finish this. Come on! Can I help you two? Give it to him. Good sir, we have journeyed through fire to bring you this. Okay, that it? Uh, yes? Great. Well, that's 3 p.m. Quitting time. The Green family makes a killer trivia team. Bill knows science from working on the farm. Tilly's a well-read expert in literature. And Grandma's a history buff after living so long. And I used to be a roadie, so I've got music covered. Plus, you got me. Oh, Cricket. Yes, we sure do, kiddo. We sure do. All right, let's see what category I can take. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Geography. Guess that's me. Geography is a bit of a tough one, brother. You sure you got it? Don't worry. I'm a whiz at math. Okay, first question. Who wrote the classic novel, Little Women? Louisa May Alcott. And the first question of the night goes to the Greens. Oh, oh, very, very, good. Good. very good. Moving right along. During what month does the winter solstice occur? December. It's the month with the least daylight. Correct. Looks like the Greens are on a roll. Wow, great job, Mr. Green. Looks like they're the team to beat, huh, Mr. Gagoni? All right, next category is geography. Here we go. What is the capital of Mexico? The answer is M. Come again? The capital's the first letter. Therefore, the capital of Mexico is M. Oh, oh. no, no, no. It's Mexico City. And right you are, Remy. Cricket? Wow. Just wow. Dang, I was real close. Hey, son, what if you let us handle the geography questions? But that's my category. If I can't do that, how will I help the team? Well, you could press the buzzer. That's, that's a great crazy. idea. Yeah. You, Cricket. Ha! Wait a minute. Y'all think I'm dumb or something? Absolutely no, 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 no. not. The nerve. Look, I admit, I'm not the sharpest spoon in the bucket, but I've got some real smarts in my noggin. Hey, it's all right, kiddo. I'm sure a question you know will pop up, but for now, just focus on the buzzer, okay? Hmm. I know I know stuff. I just gotta look deep inside my mind and find it. Huh? Ha! I'm inside my head? And this must be my daggum brain! Cricket, <laughs> what are you doing with that? <laughs> Cricket! Well, looks like it's getting pretty full. Should we send the signal? Uh, just schedule it for later. I'll never get sick of this song. This place is amazing. But how am I going to find... Ah, excuse me. Can I get some help? Buzz off. Can't you see I'm... It's the boss. I never thought I'd ever test the man. Is it us? <laughs> Hi. What the heck are you guys? We're your brain crickets. Brickets for short. You think it, we make it happen. How can I be of service? Well, I need to go see all my knowledge. Sure thing. Follow me right this way. Welcome to your knowledge bank. That's a lot of knowledge. And you're adding to it every day. Ooh, here comes some new knowledge now. Ah, what are those? Factoids. Each one is a little fact you've learned. M is not the capital of Mexico. Hey, that's right, because I learned Remy knows the capital of Mexico. Oh man, I've got to have better stuff than that, right? See, there's this trivia night thing going on, and I've got to impress my family with some big-brained knowledge. Hmm, we're going to need some help, but I know just who to call. <laughs> Boss, speak the first fact you ever learned. Dogs can't spit. Oh yeah! I remember learning that. Spitty's been here longer than any of us. You won't find a more qualified brain guy. Dogs can't spit. You're saying my real smarts are in the vaults? Wait, how can I understand you? Dogs can't spit. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Now let's hit those vaults. I've got to prove to my family that I'm not dumb. Speaking of which, boss, I believe you're needed back outside. 
Cricket! Cricket! I know this one! Hit the buzzer! Cricket! <laughs> the answer is 1903! Take that, you dirty witch! <laughs> heck are you doing over there, Boa? Don't be hard on Cricket. He probably got confused. Here, son, this is the button part. You gotta do this motion on the top I know to... how dang buzzer works, Dad. <sighs> I gotta find those smarts quick. <laughs> Guys, come on, we don't got time to waste. Right, Spitty? Dogs can't spit. And then Duck Perkins says, I don't like fishing. I love fishing. Ha! Hmm, that guy's a real hoot. I wish I could be his fishing buddy. You're dependable. You should just ask him. Pfft, yeah, if I wanted to get rejected. <laughs> what? Mom's right, Dad. Asking works. I asked Remy to help me launch a chicken into space. And look at us now. You should be direct. Hmm, you're right, Cricket. I need to prove how dependable I am so Doug Perkins will ask me to be his fishing buddy. I did not say that. I'm a do it. Okay. Doug Perkins! Bill Green! I was just fixing something around the house and I thought I'd be a dependable neighbor and see if there's something I can fix for you. As a matter of fact, there is! You really saved my behind, Bill Green. Come on in! Don't mind if I do. Yes. So, what needs fixing? A squeaky door, a flickering light bulb? Actually, my whole apartment needs rewiring. <laughs> Well, I've never done the wiring before, but I'm sure it's the same basic rules as fish, and the key is patience. Right you are, Bill! Oh, wow. Everything okay up there, Bill? Absolutely. Thanks, Bill. Good to have you around. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Still working real hard on those wires for you, Doug. Real, real hard. Are you working hard or hardly working? Ah! <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Everything's fine. I will fix it. Just stay right there. No. Dependable no, Bill no, is no. on it. Dang it, Bill. God, breaking a man's ceiling is not dependable. Okay, there's still time to fix this. <laughs> hey, Bill. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think this is working out. I'm gonna call a professional. No! You put a hole in my ceiling! Ah! And then I broke a hole in his ceiling, and then I broke his table, and then he told me he needs to call a professional, and now there's no way he thinks I'm dependable! What do I do? You're in deep, Father. Clearly, the only way out of this is to pose yourself as the repairman, fix everything you broke in the first place, earn back his trust and respect, and reveal yourself as yourself to his delight. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, it wouldn't. But would it work? No, it wouldn't! Ah! You must be the repairman I ordered! Pleased to meet you, Mr... William. William Yellow. I love that! You don't mind if I call you Will, do you? Even better. I'll have everything fixed in a jiffy. You just hang tight. Huh, that guy really knows his way around. What a professional! <gasps> wow, Will, you sure got this place in order. It was a real mess, but cleaning up the wires is like tying a fishing line. We got the bass on the line knot, the captain's hook, and the double friendship knot. Your wiring is not gonna be bothering you anymore. Well, may I be the first to say, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough. I was in a bit of a bind after my neighbor botched the repair job. No, oh, it wasn't that bad. You saw what a doozy it was up there. No, 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 I needed someone dependable like you. Well, it's funny you say that because, ta -da! Huh? Uh. Bill Green, you dressed up like a repairman to sneak into my house to fix a mess you made? Yes. Get out! Hey, you order some repairs? I'll come back another time. Sorry you blew it, Mr. Green. Thanks, Remy. Did you at least learn a lesson? Never trust a cricket scheme. That is a solid learn. Or you gotta be honest with your friends, even the ones you haven't made yet. I guess you're right. <clears throat> oh, Dad, I know what'll cheer you up. Fishing! Yeah, fishing always makes everything right. Who needs friends? All right, just pretend you can hear Dad and you'll make it through this. Who am I kidding? You're in a lose-lose situation, Cricket. If Dad finds out you can't hear, you're in trouble. And if you mess up these chores, you're in trouble too. Don't shoot, is he saying something? Phew, forget. Maybe I'm worrying too much. I get by without listening on a daily basis. Ah, but he wants something. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Right. Tools. Well, this should be easy. Does he want this tool or this one? How am I supposed to know which one he wants? Come on, Cricket, you're taking too long. Just pick something. Here's a wrench, Father. Cause, uh, there's nothing a good wrench can't fix, right? Hmm. <laughs> All right, only two chores left. Looks like this one has something to do with the chickens. Seems simple enough. <laughs> Easy. That looks serious. Must be important. Oh, I'll read his lips. Go shake up the rooster. Go shake up the rooster. Huh. Must be some ancient farming technique. Cricket, you've solved another mind puzzle. <laughs> Cricket, what on earth are you doing? I told you, don't wake up the rooster. I may have read his lips wrong. Uh-oh, he looks confused. Can't let him get too suspicious. Time to distract. I just don't understand. <laughs> That mean old rooster tried to pick me and I, I almost got hurted. My baby boy. Come on, let's move on to something else. I am a genius. Before I knew it, moving day was upon us. Okay, girl, take care of him on the ride. See you guys at Ma's house. Okay, <sighs> kids, time to hit the road. You doing okay, son? I, uh, yeah, ready for a new adventure. a boy. Here. Cricket, it's me, your sister. I've moved on to the final stage of grief, acceptance. So you better kiss the country goodbye. Well, Cricket, you ready to go? Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> what? Cricket? Poor schmucks won't last a week. Cricket, slow down. No. I thought we agreed the city would be fun. I don't care. I don't want to turn into city cricket. What does that even mean? <laughs> Cricket! Son, this is happening. You can't hide out here forever. Just talk to me. I can't leave the country. It's part of me. I don't know who I am if I'm not here. If I leave, who am I? Oh, I know what you mean. The country is a part of me, too. But leaving doesn't change that, and it doesn't change you. The country is always going to be a part of you. It's where you grew your roots, and no matter where you go, you'll take a little bit of the country with you. How's that sound? <laughs> and yet he gave you the dirt and the jar! <laughs> yeah, it's okay, buddy. Just cry it out. Oh, cricket! Yeah, hey, Dad, what's up? <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's my dirt jar! Oh, Dad, I love you, I love you, I love you! Oh, just look at it. Absolutely stunning. Now to take a whiff of that restorative country air. Wait, no, you shouldn't. That ain't my dirt jar. What's going on? Uh, I'm real sorry, Cricket. I was cleaning and accidentally broke the real one. I should have told you about it when it happened. Oh, it's okay. The country's a part of me, right? I don't need a jar to tell me that. Hey, you know what? I just got an idea. What if you and I took a little road trip? Dirt jar ain't gonna fill itself. <laughs> hmm? Hey, uh, Cricket, come here a sec. Yeah, what's up? I just had the craziest idea. 